It is when, Thursday, not Wednesday, Thursday, oh, yeah, yeah, October 26th, and I am leaving the house about an hour or so later than I attended because I started chatting with friends online again. And then I got an email from my attorney regarding the workman's comp thing and cross your fingers I can make an announcement soon that we're done with that, hopefully. Um, but I'm gonna go run some errands now and I didn't get on the treadmill today but I am hoping I can make up the steps while I'm running errands. If I can't, I'm gonna need to get on the treadmill later. Um, or go walking with hu the husband in the evening when he gets home, which is something we also do on non-treadmill days, which he likes because he sits in a cubicle all day. So <laughs> he doesn't get steps in unless he like has to walk to another building or something on the site where he works. So anyway, I am going to uh, go run a couple of errands. We have a brand new Daiso and a brand new Tuesday morning really close to my house so I don't need anything but I want to go take a visit and I need to go pick up a couple of things at the grocery store and stuff like that um, I also have some things I need to send out in the mail I know there uh, was a late delivery by Amazon to my post box so I need to go pick that up and maybe by the time I get there, my other mail will be ready. I'm really having an issue with Amazon's delivery carrier in my area. They are just not organized. They, instead of making one trip with all the deliveries for that particular address, they make multiple deliveries. They're constantly coming too late in the day. The business is closed. You would think they would know. It's just very frustrating and it's I've talked to my people at the postal place and it's not just me It's all of their Amazon deliveries are messed up um, And the notifications I've gotten about things being not able to be delivered has been After 8 o'clock and their delivery says that it should arrive by 8 p.m. That's their standard thing but They're not even coming by 8 p.m. Not to mention the place the cl place closes at 7 I, 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 I've been on I've been chatting with Amazon more in the last two weeks about this than I ever have ever in my years of shopping at Amazon. It's just, there's my little rant of the week. We'll see if I actually get that into the vlog and I don't edit it out. We'll find out. So in the meantime, I'm going to go run a few errands and get some stuff done. I have um, some things on my list on my desk I need to take care of today, not to mention laundry and dishes and all the normal stuff. So, we're going to start our day by doing some shopping. Always my favorite way besides art. All right, I'll be back. on the other side of the mall, which is okay because I get some steps in. You can tell it's a small, brand new Daiso. It's not super big, but it's also brand new, so it's not super well stocked. And yeah, sorry for the screaming children in the background. Somebody's having a temper tantrum. Anyway, now I'm headed to Target, then I'm gonna go hit Tuesday morning. I'll be back. All right, so we're on our way home. The new Tuesday morning is not open yet, a couple more days. So I'll probably go by there sometime next week. Um, because it says coming soon, October 27th, and it's the 25th, no, 26th, so tomorrow, um, so I'm a day early, figures. Um, 
what else? I am going the back way home and I'm going to stop by our local library. I know a lot of my art friends always find interesting magazines and stuff um, for cheap or free at their local libraries. I like never find any of that stuff. Uh, my library has a little section of books and stuff that they sell. Occasionally there's a free pile. They don't generally have a lot of stuff. Um, so. I haven't, I haven't been in in a long time. It's probably been a year or more, and that's what I mean by a long time. So I'm going to stop by there. It's directly on my way home. So we're gonna go by there, and we're gonna see if they have anything. I did pick up a couple things in Daiso, and I got some tea in Target on, on my way out of the mall, because there's a big Target there. And um, I just sort of killing time for a little bit before I go take my stuff to the mail place. I do need printer cartridges too, so I have to go to Staples. Uh, I'm almost out of colored ink. So, and that's in the same shopping center as the postal place, so we'll take care of that, all that all at once. All right, that's it for this, this second. I'll be right back. <laughs> right it's generally a waste of my time they just don't have much ever often or I just constantly miss it so I don't know how you all are finding good books and stuff to use in your mixed media not me all right I'll be back hey guys it is Thursday October 27th I believe no it's not there Thursday Holy cow, I've lost a day. It's Friday. I've lost a day. Did I even film yesterday? I think I did film yesterday. Holy cow, I've lost a day. <laughs> All right, so anyway, it's Friday. It's the 28th, I believe. And um, I uh, have... Uh, I'm trying to watch to make sure nobody's coming. I um, have already done all of my da daily writings and postings that I do in the mornings across all the groups. I am admin for teacher in that sort of thing. Um, I even did a few business shares in my business Facebook page. The links for all of these Facebook pages and social media things are in the description. There's a link that says link tree um, slash Gina B. Aarons and if you click on that like all the links for everywhere I am are in there um, it, it, just FYI so go to the description down below um, so I've done all that this morning had my coffee had my breakfast dude green light <laughs> um, I got my steps in on the treadmill and my hair is wet again uh, my hair seems to always be wet when I'm on camera lately. I don't know. So anyway, I had a shower. I'm clean. I'm not stinky anymore. I'm going to go run some errands now. I need a couple things at the hardware store and for projects that are on hubby's honey-do list. So I'm going to get those so that he can work on them this weekend. And then of course while I'm there, there's a particular kind of paint chip they have at Lowe's that I really like to use in my journals and um, I'm running low so I'm gonna go get some more. The chips have a series of color splotches on them but they also have some really cool uh, graphics on them that I like to cut apart and use in my journals so I'm gonna go get some more of those. And I've got to get groceries, I've got to return something that Hubby bought at Staples. It doesn't work for him that he needs me to return. It's family dinner night, so I've got to get some pizza for dinner. We get the pre, I should say, made to order but not baked pizzas. So we go to a place around here, Papa Murphy's, which I think is nationwide. But for those of you not in the area that don't have one. It's a place where you go and they make the pizza for you as you order it, but the, they don't bake it. 
you bake it at home in your oven. So I'm gonna, we really like that kind of pizza. So I'm gonna go get that and I got a puzzle to work on for family, for family game night. I like to have people not turn the devices on, to put the phones down and do a game or a puzzle and talk to each other. I know it's a novel concept, but anyway. All right, that's it for right now. I'll be back. Those free 2% milk, it was like watered down water is what it tasted like. And but what was your comment? I like lactose. <laughs> I love lactose, it's so good. Seriously. Is that it? Yeah, this, isn't it that one? No. No? It's, oh. It's got a different, it's the one up ahead. On the okay. That's fine. Here, straight here it is. We're having nothing but trouble this morning finding everything that we're looking for. Because, you know, we're just having an off day. <laughs> Fun times at Costco for an entire year. We only do it once a year. We gotta get more messy, I guess. Huh? We're too clean. We're too clean, people. We're start, not messy enough. I gotta start dripping things and <laughs> dropping. Please, please don't. And if they're making messes so we can use it more often. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> so here's when you recycle your old BF Goodrich radial TAs. Yeah, they does come, it say? They come back as We're this. getting a map for the back door, and it's $10 Drainage. at Costco. There's this recycled sign. rubber back. It's got it recyc recycled rubber. I what? bet you it looks like an old tire on yeah. the back. See, those are little, little bias plies. Cool. Bias plies. Now the dogs, neither one of them has to lay on the concrete. Always thinking about um, Lily. Lily. What Lily. about your dog? Well, you, don't you know, Mr. Grumpy Pants. <laughs> Oh, maybe we need some uh, joint supplements for the dogs, some vitamins. For you know, Mr. Grumpy Pants? Well, he, well he'll eat them. Just, he'll just, just think they're candy. Yeah, we can just like give it to him, Yeah, dip it in some uh, beef broth or something. <laughs> you don't even have to dip it, are you kidding? It's one of the reasons we come to Costco to eat lunch at the little food tasting stations. Grilled chicken skewers with broccoli. Yummy! Costco. How many yeah, calories? Mr. Skinny here is like documenting all his food in an app because he thinks he's fat, you know. And you know something? I eat the same foods day in and day out. It's the most boring thing I've ever seen. I don't want to hear about it because you can eat whatever you want and you don't gain any weight. I don't want to hear about it. I think I eat the same five things during my And you walk whole less life. than me. I don't understand. There's a little of stuff meat. Do not buy one of those pies. It's just a two of us, gear. Yeah, yeah, that's enough pie for like 50 people. Maybe we can get one for uh, if we go up to my to my brother's. Yeah, and when we go up for Thanksgiving. But we're not taking any home. up with the heartburn so that I, I can have a Costco hot dog with sauerkraut. Yeah, see? Yeah. I think we should get one. I think, yeah, I think we should. It's yeah. the right thing to do. Yeah. Heartburn yeah. or no? Oh yeah, we're going to regret it at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but we should have it we anyway. We should have it anyway, yeah. I agree. I think we should take that risk. Yep, I agree. Don't always buy this magazine, but it's discounted here at Costco and I want to I want to go to the places that are have the most joyful places on the planet. Search for happiness. Sounded interesting enough to buy. Now we're going to give ourselves some heart, heartburn by having a hot dog. Because, you know, that's what we do. He's going to have a Polish. I'm going to have a hot dog. Hey guys, it is Saturday, October 27th. Pretty sure. Um, if you are watching this bit, then you've already seen the bit where we, hus the husband and I went to Costco. It is not my favorite place to go, but um, sometimes it's a much needed necessity. There are things there that um, we were running out of that we have to get from there. And um, so anyway, we did that. And bonus, we got to, you know, walk around the store snacking. So, you know, it's always good. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, I was chatting with um, some of my art friends online for a little while and I did a journal page while I was talking to them and I'm headed to go pick up the mail.
driving by DMV, but it's not a problem today because DMV is closed, so less traffic. So it's all good. So let's go see if there's any mail and if there is what it is. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be my Amazon deliveries because they're all delayed again. Yeah, so anyway, I'll be back. So I think it was just bills. <clears throat> or junk mail. Could be junk mail, actually. One of them looks like a subscription thing, so that's probably junk mail. I don't know what this other one is. I'll wait till I get home. And funny bit, I was as I was chatting with the art friends earlier, my husband was dusting his office. He dusted the Wi-Fi box. What the what is that called? You know, sometimes some days the words just escape me. Am I the only one that does that? Hope not. Anyway, you know, the Wi-Fi box. I should know the name of this thing, but I can't think of it right now. Anyway, um, he was dusting it and <laughs> the whole house Wi-Fi went off. <laughs> like, we have none. And he didn't turn the box off, it's still on, but it's not connecting to anything for more than like one second. So, I don't know what he did. Uh, so I thought it was best to come get the mail because he was like sitting in his office very annoyed. Yeah, so <laughs> there's that. Anyway, alrighty. I'm home now. Sit with a cup of tea. Maybe a little snack. go through my stack of magazines that are on my side of the sofa and pull out articles I want to reference, read some articles I haven't read yet, pull out some images for my art binders and grab and glue stash. I am working hard right now to finish another one of my journals or two alternating between the little mini address book journal I've been doing and also my small delusions journal I'm trying to get more journals finished for the year and I also have a couple projects for my creative year that I need to get working on and I want to get done and filmed and in the can so to speak I did already film an opening video for what I'm gonna use for the year but I'm thinking that I need to either re-edit that, refilm it, or add a part two, because I have more ideas of what I want that video to say, um, so, and, or how I want that journal to look. Does that make sense? So I think I need to rethink that. Um, we have to have some more meetings about the upcoming business for the new year um, tomorrow I'm gonna do it a little have a little meeting and then Monday a little bit longer meeting so yeah it's all fun and good times all right that's it for right now I'm gonna go home and relax and just be for a bit how about you hey guys it is Sunday morning late morning it's 11 o'clock um october 29th and bob and i spent most of the morning after we had our coffee getting the cleaning the house we do every week or two he helps me since i got um hurt at work and have my issues with asthma it's hard for me to do some of the and, and hurt both my shoulders it's hard for me to do some of the cleaning uh, pushing the vacuum you don't real, really realize how hard that is until you don't have full strength in either one of your shoulders and then it's an issue so anyway he's very sweet and every now and then on a Saturday or Sunday morning he helps me get the house clean so we did it it's clean we're good for a while um, and he's home now um, taking a shower getting dressed and all that stuff and I'm trying to delay long enough so that he like pays the household bills while I'm gone because it makes him very grouchy <laughs> and yeah, I don't want to be in the house while he's doing it. I don't think that's going to happen but I'm at the hardware store. I've got to pick up a window screen we needed repaired and I've got to pick up a couple other things and so I'm going to run some errands and then I'll be back. Now you know when that little voice in your head tells you 
don't do that <laughs> or you should do this this way that little voice is more often than not right uh, yeah, yeah. so when I was in the hardware store I needed a little rug to go under the dog's bowl the water dish for both dogs actually they just share a bowl they don't care and um, I got one but I didn't really like it and I thought it was kind of expensive but I was being lazy and I just I didn't really want to go anywhere else it is Sunday after all and then on the way home I thought about it and I thought I'd stop at another store on the way home a discount department store called Ross dress for less for those of you not in the area or in the US that you know don't have the same kind of stores it's a discount department store and um, I ended up finding two rugs they're actually bathroom rugs but they'll work just fine it's just for keeping under the water bowl mind you so that you know they don't slobber water and stuff all over the floor um, and these are nicer rugs a better color more neutral washable <laughs> like all that stuff and they were less than half the price of the other rug see the little voice is trying to tell me so now I'm headed back to the hardware store um, to go return the other rug because I was tempted to just wait a couple days. The same little voice is saying, no, 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 just go do it now. So we're going to go do it now. <laughs> I really should learn to listen to myself. Because I do give myself decent advice sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Ay, ay, ay. I'm still blaming it on the eclipse. <laughs> whether it's whether it's, uh, its fault or not, I'm still blaming it on the eclipse. It's my excuse. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Monday, October 30th. Woohoo, I know the date today. Waha. <laughs> um, it's the day before Halloween. That's how come I know. <laughs> so, you know, don't get too excited. Um, you can see behind me that I'm in my art room and I'm working on some more journal pages. I have another journal I'm trying to finish before the end of the year, the Small Delusions Journal. And bonus, I'm using up not so, only some of my images from my image binders and stash, but I'm having a lot of fun doing just a little bit of painting in the background and lots of collage and layer and texturing in the foreground. And I'm really, really, really liking the style. So I'm experimenting a lot with that and it is a lot of fun. I think I might have to refilm some things for next year. That's how much fun I'm having. Anyway, there's a big old hint for you all who are going to be in my creative year for next year. Um, I also need to work on some sketches for the rubber stamp design designs for next year. I have uh, barely touched the surface with that. I have to finalize some things and then get with Rubber Moon and see what they think. Then there's usually some edits and all of that stuff. So, yeah. What else? I really would like to go to a couple of new stores that we have in the area. I don't really need anything though, so I think I'm going to avoid that. I do need to buy Halloween candy. I know, right? I haven't done it yet. So when I'm out getting the mail today and mailing off a couple things to art friends, I really, really, really have to get the mail. I did some more cleaning and purging this weekend, so I've got a pile of ephemera, scrapbooking paper, um, and some trash out actually out there in the garage. I need to sort through it um, and dispose of the trash, um, bag up the small bits, and then figure out a place to donate it to because I don't want to just throw it in the recycle bin. Although my husband did try to do that. And no, nobody panic. I did save it from the recycle bin. He's all, it's just paper. We'll put it in the... No! <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. Um, <laughs> I may split some of it up and put it in Happy Mail. I don't know yet. So anyway, that's it. It's kind of been, um, you know, the weirdness continues. My weeks and uh, business life are just kind of off. They've been off for a while. I'm still blaming it all on the eclipse. I don't know if that's valid to do anymore, but yeah, that's what I'm blaming it on. All right, that's it for right now. I will okay. be back. So after my purge that I did this week, last weekend of paper, scrapbooking papers, collage papers, I had a probably inch, inch and a half, two inch stack of scrapbooking paper I wanted to keep, but it was 12 by 12. I never use 12 by 12 in paper anymore. Who does? Um, I, ju I just don't use it anymore. So 
I took it all and I took it to Staples and had them cut it in fourths for me. Um, so now I have um, four little stacks of six by six and um, that's perfect and it fits in the bin where I want it to fit. I don't have to find an extra place to store it. And the drawer in one of my desks that I had all of this stuff in has overstock fine art papers and drawing papers. So they're in the drawer, they're put away, they're gonna stay clean um, and dust free. Um, and you know, I won't be getting paint splatters and stuff on them, which is perfect. That's perfect for me. I do have to relabel the drawer now that I thought about it though. But um, yeah, it worked out great. And they did the cutting for free. So I don't know that all of your staples are gonna do that, but mine did, they're really sweet that way. And yay, thank you. All right, that's it for right now, I'll be back. So it is Tuesday, October 31st, and I am babysitting the little troublemaker for the day. She's already tried to dig Bandit out of his pen a few times peed on grandpa's tree trimmer, then chewed on grandpa's tree trimmer, even though I thought I moved it into a safe place. So I had to move it up really high. <laughs> and tried to dig a hole to China in the middle of the yard. So yeah, anyway. My daughter did say she was full of high energy today. Oh joy. <laughs> she is cute though. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, November 1st. And I am headed over to my postal <clears throat> place where I get my mail. They also have notary services. Um, I'm about to sign off on my five year long workman's comp and disability issue with my former employer. And I am settling for a lot less than I probably should, but. <sighs> I, to be honest, I just want it to be over, so we're going to just do that and make it happen. Yeah, I have mixed feelings about it. So anyway, um, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to not wait for snail mail to get the papers back to my attorney after I do my part. I'm not going to email them. I don't trust that. I'm going to actually drive him to his office, which is kind of a big deal because he's about 45 minutes from me in Redwood City, California. And if you know the area at all and you know where South San Jose is, that's quite a drive. So it's just before lunchtime. It's probably a good time to do it. Hopefully I can be back on the road towards San Jose well before 3 o'clock. Um, because our rush hour starts between 2.30 and 3 and traffic's going to get really gross. I used to drive up that way for work for my former employer a lot and uh, traffic is not fun. So anyway, that's what I'm up to today. What are you guys up to today? <laughs> There's also been some business upsets this morning, again this weekend. Ay ay ay. It's just one thing after the other right now, you know? But it's all good. I've made some beautiful art and I've done some more purging in my space. I can find some really fabulous stuff I forgot I had. So, you know, good news, bad news, right? All right, so I'm gonna pull in here and I'm gonna get my part done and I will be back. On the freeway, oh joy. Because, you know, I love driving so much. Ay, ay, ay. But it's for a good cause. I'm going to get this finally thing, this thing finally settled and behind me. Can move forward in 2018 with a clean slate. In a bunch of different ways. That's going to be a good thing. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, oh my god, I'm going to have to take some video before I leave here. My attorney has changed offices since... I had to drive to the office for anything last and um, I knew they'd moved from San Jose to Redwood City I didn't realize that their office was at the port of Redwood City like seriously people talk about a beautiful view so anyway um, yeah right on the bay hello 
Um, so I'll try to get a few stills or pictures or video or something before I leave. All right, I'll be Folks, back. This is the view outside the front of my lawyer's new office building. No wonder they wanted to move up here. Holy cow. Beautiful view. Hey guys, it is nearing the end of the day on Wednesday, November 1st. And it's been, it's been a mixed bag of nuts today, I gotta tell ya. So, you know, we did the whole lawyer thing and cross your fingers, it all goes as planned. Um, there just seems to be a lot of bumps in my road right now. And I'm handling them, no fear fear. Um, and I have friends and family who are helping me handle them, but it's discouraging nonetheless. So uh, most of the bumps for me are have to do with business. Um, <laughs> they're just discouraging. I don't know what to say. Uh, but I'll make it through and we'll keep making art and we'll keep doing what we love, right? And I'm going to keep sharing with you all uh, for free as long as I can. And uh, I'm having fun working in this little, little journal doing this sort of for me new style of art journaling where it's got a lot of collage and a lot of texture and a little bit of paint and mark making and I just, I'm loving it it's just so much fun and it might be something I continue to do going forward so look for it I hope you're liking it too I haven't filmed everything I've done but I do have a couple of things I've filmed that at this moment I have yet to edit so hopefully tomorrow I can spend most of the day editing because there is a lot of stuff on my camera's SD card and so yeah all right I also have a few things to film but editing comes first I think that's it for right now don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links including links to my tip jar my Amazon wish list and my link tree link which has everything on it um, the new Facebook group all that stuff and the most important thing of course go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. All right, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.